Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is one skill coming back to your ears with the best tips and tricks to improve your PowerPoint game. Today's video was made possible by GraphicStock, which is a subscription-based resource providing unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock photos, images, vectors and more. All images are 100% royalty free and you can keep all of the media forever. There are no contracts. You can find more info at graphicstock.com. So in the spirit of Graphic Stocks Creator to Creator Initiative, here's what I've made with my Graphic Stocks subscription. I have picked some of my most favorite quotes and I have created some wonderful slides with some wonderful images that I have found on graphicstocks.com. So I will show you how you can create some wonderful slides with your most favorite quotes. So before we dive in in some of the examples that I have created, please sit back, relax and play some of your favorite music in the background. So first, let's get started with some of the examples. All images that you just saw in my slide examples are from Graphic Stock. And if you would like to get your hands on these beautiful images and many more amazing images, grab your free 7-day trial of Graphic Stock. Link in the description box below. So ladies and gentlemen, now that we have seen a couple of examples of beautiful slides with quotes, let's create some of these slides ourselves. So let's go to File, click on New and choose blank presentation. So right click on the first slide, go to layout and choose blank because the first slide is, has to be completely empty. We don't need anything else on it. And the first step is to find a beautiful background image for our slide. And what is a better place to find a beautiful image than graphicstock.com? I'm really grateful to the people from graphicstock.com because they have given me membership and now I can enjoy unlimited downloads of royalty-free photos. I can download thousands of royalty-free photos every day with no limits. So how cool is that? So they have vectors, illustrations, photos and they have collections and I really like collections because these are groups of photos and they are grouped according to some kind of uh, theme for example nature bus business business <laughs> business or school and what i really like is the future of creativity collection so let's have a look inside of it so here are a lot of colorful beautiful uh, pictures i think these are like uh, like like digital paintings like you know something painted with photoshop or something but they look really beautiful and i think they fit very well to our quotes so let me show you actually let's head back to our original presentation and let's start with this uh, first slide i think we can do this slide and we can do this one because they're really really amazing okay so let me actually show you where you can find on graphic stock this exact image so let's get back to graphic stock so the, 
this image can be found in this uh, exact collection, The Future of Creativity. And as far as I remember, it's on page number two. And yes, here it is, this image. So you can click on this button and you will download the image straight away to your computer or you can click on the image and you will get more details about it. And if you like it, hit download and download will start automatically. Okay, so let's open up the folder where our image has been downloaded. So let's open up our blank presentation, our folder with the image. So select the image, drag it and drop it onto the slide. And hooray, you have, we have this wonderful image. And as you can see, this image does not fit precisely to my slide because my slide has dimensions of 16 to 9. So all we have to do is we have to crop this image to, to 16 to 9. So just select the image, go to crop, aspect ratio and select 16 to 9 and hit on crop. Okay, so now our picture has the right dimension. All we have to do is just to increase the image. So first we put it at one of the corners and increase the size of it. And now it perfectly covers the whole slide. And now to save some time, let me just uh, copy this text box from my original presentation. Okay. Okay. So let's say that you have copied some text from the internet and you just paste it onto your slide. So the text will not look uh, beautiful like this. It will probably look something like this, maybe Arial. Arial and maybe font size will be 12 or something. So it will be, yeah, maybe something like this. So if you want to make your quote look beautiful, I would suggest using two fonts. So one font for the quote itself. So I have used Open Sans condensed and the font size is 30. And for the author, I used Latolite. On size 20 and straight away your quote looks looks much more attractive oh and let me let me uh, remove the animation from the from the quote so we will create everything ourselves Okay, so now we just have wonderful background and we have a quote. So now we want to animate the background and we want to animate the quote itself. So let's get back to our presentation, to my original presentation. Let's check once again how everything looked like. So as you can see, the text box was animated. It goes from bottom to top and the background is animated. It zooms in and it rotates. So how can we do it? We can do it really simple, simply. <laughs> so first of all let's select the text box go to animations pane click on this blue star with green plus sign find a floating animation and click on it and if you click on animation pane you can see that this animation has been assigned to our quote okay okay and now what we can do, we can actually set the direction from where this uh, floating will happen from top or from bottom. Okay, I think it looks good like this. And we can increase the duration to six seconds so it will look more subtle. Okay, something like this. Okay, so now that our text box is animated, we can select our background and we can animate it. So once again, click on add animations. And now what we want to find is grow shrink animation. Uh, this animation will help us to create the zoom in effect. So first of all, let's select it and increase the duration to 10 seconds. And let's right click on it and go to effect options. And here we can you know, define 
how big we want our picture to zoom in or to grow. So I think 150 is good enough. So let's leave it like that. And we can set this uh, zoom in and a animation to start with previous so which means basically that when the animation of text box starts so the animation of background will start at the same time so let me demonstrate to you so as you can see the text box is floating up from the bottom and the picture itself is zooming in so all we have to do now is to make sure that our background is rotating at the same time while it's zooming in. So let's select this uh, grow shrink animation and let's hit on add animation once again and let's find spin animation. Click on it. Let's set the duration to 10 seconds. Let's right click on it, go to effect options and here we can set the angle or rotation how much our image will rotate so I think 15% is good enough and you can set you can set it to go clockwise or counterclockwise so I think clockwise is good as well and let's set it to start with previous okay so both the zoom in and the spin animation they start with previous and only for the text box we have to hit mouse click Okay, so let's check out what we have. So I click with the mouse and the zoom in and rotation effect takes place and the text box floats up from the bottom. So beautiful. You have created your first beautiful slide with quote and animated background. And what is cool is that when you have created your first slide, it's really easy to create more slides. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you. So let's uh, right click here and click on new slide. So let's find another beautiful photo. So, so let me go back to my original presentation. Let's see, this picture is really nice as well. So let's find it on graphicstock.com. I think it was on page number five or six. Let me check. number six okay <clears throat> here it is so I'm just clicking straight away on this blue button to download the photo okie dokie so the photo has been downloaded so let's open up the folder let's open up the presentation and just as previously select your photo drag it and drop it onto the slide so once again let's crop the image to 16 by 9 so it fits perfectly our slide aspect ratio 16 to 9 hit ok beautiful so the first thing you can do of course you can select your text box that you have created and you can paste it and probably probably <laughs> probably you want to change the quote something amazing okay and your name So yeah, you can place place whatever wherever you want this text box, wherever you feel it will fit uh, nicely on the picture. So now when we go to animations and animation paint, so you can see that this text box already has this uh, float in animation because we have copied this text box from the first slide. But as you can see, our background image is not animated. And here, what we can do, we can go to the first slide. We can select this background image. We can hit Animation Painter. We can go back to the second slide and we can click on this image. And as you can see, we have pasted this animation, these two animations. And yeah, basically we are finished with the second slide. So let's see what we have.
So ladies and gentlemen, now you have learned how to create amazing slides with beautiful quotes using amazing images. So let's get back to our original presentation and say one more thanks to Graphic Stock. So if you liked what you saw today and if you'd like to create something creative as well yourself, so please use the chance and click the link in the description box below to get your free 7-day trial of Graphic Stock and get access to unlimited downloads of 350,000 graphics, photos, vectors and more. So please create something special and share it with a hashtag creator to creator. And I once skill say to you thanks once again and see you on my next video.